think we logged 70 plays of live action, and uh, we, you know, we kind of we set out to get a lot of competitive situations, but we did that. We played physical in spurts. We were successful in spurts on both sides of the ball, and showed some signs of inconsistencies. But overall, progress. We really feel like we have progressed, um, and we gotta continue to progress from here. So that being said. Even man, I think had three sacks tonight. Just, I guess continue to show you what he did in camp. What he so what he did here in the stadium in high school. As well. so, you know, the guy, he's, he's got a relentless motor, a ton of pride. He's been coached really, really, really well over at his high school. They just they go hard. So he's used to this practice regimen, the structure, and he, he's extremely disruptive. And he's very, very tough. He does not shy away. He doesn't matter if it's a senior offensive lineman, a freshman that came in with him, the guy's going to get after somebody's butt and get to him. Not to just harp on the freshman, but it seemed like Ray Ray on the other side of the ball, kind of similar just in terms of like the toughness, effort. Like you kind of see a lot of that stuff with them, I thought, yeah. tonight too. Well, I just think when you say both these guys, these are, these are Miami Hurricanes. This is what Miami um, needs to always have, and lots of them. I remember playing here, and that's what our teammates looked like. And today was a good glimpse of, you know, of um, roster additions and enhancements, and, and Ray Ray. Ray Ray's a diehard, diehard Kane through and through, and a must-have guy. And I think tonight he showed he showed why, you know. And uh, I think you know you see you just see the catches, but you should see him block. You should see him throw his body around. He's just uh, the guy. Really is a tremendous competitor, and he's an elite, awesome, incredible human being that really has an incredible impact on his teammates. What do you think of Tyler? Or, or, okay. What do you think of Tyler tonight? Looked pretty sharp. Had that nice touchdown pass to Jacoby. He was. He was sharp. You know, we had a chance to make a couple other plays. We gave some guys opportunities to make plays, um, and, and we made a couple. And a couple, you know, got away from us. And that's okay. We're getting better at that. But he continues to take ownership in the offense, feeling more and more comfortable with it. We got to work on some things. We got to get the ball out sometimes a little bit faster. We got to protect a little bit better. And we got confused on a couple formations and routes that um, that we had called where we had opportunities to make some big big plays. But overall, he's just—he's doing a great job as a leader. He's doing a great job progressing, um, and he's just doing a great job just taking ownership as a leader on this football team and, and making this thing go forward. What yeah. about sorry? Well, uh, what about Emery? Also, he only had a few, yeah. you know, few hits to throw, but looked good in the, when he did. He did. He did. He's, he's a special football player. He did a really good job. Look, Shakar was off tonight, and I get it. That guy's had an unbelievable spring. You know, it's a shame that tonight didn't go as well as we hoped it would go, but he's had a good spring as well. Uh, Jacoby had, you know, a couple catches, but that great touchdown catch, you could say about him. We need that. You know, that's what Miami football needs to look like more consistently. Uh, he's really had a good spring, and he continues to improve. There's there's a change in him as a person, um, as a guy that's just hungry to be better, to help his teammates, his team get better. Um, we push him hard. We really do. His mom's a wonderful person, a wonderful lady. And she plays a big role in this as well. Um, and I think anytime you can partner up with families and parents to get guys on the right track to progress, it's it's really helpful. It's critical. And I think you're starting to see that out of Jacoby Jordan. And the, so offensive, line, the, uh, the offensive line, Mario. Mm the -hmm. offensive line. Did Javion Cohen play today? He got nicked up out here in pregame. You know, he's okay. He's okay. So those big guys are made out of rubber and steel. They don't break. You know. But he um, he's had a great spring. He hasn't missed anything. And we were out. You know, we go pretty we go pretty hard pregame. You guys see here down here in the corner. Um, this you know step and you know tweaked up a little bit. But he's good. He's good to go. How much were you able to kind of see from the defensive line? You know, I mean, obviously so many guys are out right now. But a lot of guys what, out. Yeah, yeah. What were you able to? I guess what can you garner? I guess and learn with so many guys out. Toughness, toughness and resiliency from guys that you know what they. They're not waiting for a starter to return. You know, they're trying to establish themselves as that guy. And really proud of those guys because you guys don't see when, when we're practicing, those guys have to, you don't take double reps, but they are taking a significant amount of extra reps and they've been productive, they've been effective, they haven't complained. They just kept going. They got a lot of reps tonight as well and they were effective. So all those reps that Mod Moon has been getting, they showed up today in technique and, and and just making plays where a year ago, you know, he, he couldn't do that. Yeah, Inez Thank Cooper, you. I Last just want to ask about Inez. Sorry. What's that? I didn't, Inez Cooper, did he play? He did not play. He was not available. He was available early on, but he was. He had to be pulled. Great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.